no, a lot of counter. A lot of counter. Look at that. So Thomas has finally learned that you can't be putting in cheese and sour cream and guac, guac and all that. How many calories is that one? 6.15. It's a big meal though. We have to do a weigh-in today. So we have to see how much you're weighing today. It is a big meal. You're going to be satisfied with that. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's pretty good. And this guy over here. This man over here. He's bulking. Yeah. He's bulking. So. I'm trying to. Look at those muscles coming up. <laughs> that's crazy. Come on, flex. Hmm? Are you flexing? No, I'm not at all. <laughs> <laughs> so all the Higumi stuff is leaving. We have the little assembly line here. Keep it going. All that. See grooming. That is some essentials. It's going in there. Thomas, we have to go do a weigh in anyway. Come on. No, no, you have to give me five minutes. Five minutes, why? Five minutes. You're going to lose weight in five minutes? Yeah, I got to use the bathroom. Five minutes. <laughs> five minutes, bro. All right, so it is February 4th. Um, this is the first weigh in of the week because we didn't weigh in yesterday. Bro, I feel heavy. I feel you took heavy. your crap already, bro. And you took the dump. I feel That's heavy. what you wanted. I right, give you my... This one thing, though. Let's try to. Battery's probably fell off. Uh huh. I've been going ham in the gym. You yeah, have? Running, but I'm doing weights. That doesn't matter, okay? So I'm probably heavy. Guys. No, you're not. Yes, I am, guys. 183, so that's pretty accurate. Fuck. All right, you're gonna take it off your shorts too? Your t shirt, shorts, everything to be as light as possible? Yep, 183. Pretty Shit. accurate. You gonna leave your shorts? Yeah. I mean, just add two pounds. Okay. <laughs> So we were at 322, right? All right, guys, so I'm gonna interrupt this video to let you know that this video is sponsored by Rose Gold and Black. They have been amazing being able to sponsor this series, basically, where, you know, we're gonna see the progress of that Thomas is doing and everything like that, and that's what keeps this channel going, and I wanna thank them for doing that. Remember, guys, that Rose Gold and Black right now is having an amazing deal of 25% off the entire website, and on top of that, if you guys are interested in their minimal necklaces that I'm not wearing right now, I'm actually just wearing their bracelet. But if you guys are interested in their minimal necklaces, like, let me get it. This one right here, this is the minimal bar necklace. This is the gunmetal one. They have the gunmetal, they have a silver, and they have a rose gold. You can get an extra 15% off if you use the coupon code down below. Now, that is an amazing deal. You're getting basically 40% off your order of necklaces or 25% of the other stuff. And they have bead bracelets like the one I showed. They have leather bracelets, they have watches, they have rings, and all that. So check out Rose Gold and Black, guys. I'll have the link down below so you can check them out. Use that coupon code if you're interested in that necklace is amazing necklace is minimal and it just completes your outfit so check out rose going black link down below now let's continue with our video 22 last time i won't tell you no you went up two pounds it could be uh, water it could be the shorts too you want to take off the shorts nah bro it could be the shorts it's water weight it's normal. That's not bad, no, though. This is the thing, though. At least you're not 332. <laughs> no, bro. I would die. <laughs> so, I just ate. Yeah, you, yeah, you yeah. ate. I mean, it's better to do it in the mornings. That's what I'm saying. I mean, we you should know? do it in the mornings. Okay, the so this is this is at, you know, 3 in the afternoon. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so it's, it's pretty know. late. I'm going to go but, to the gym again today. I went this morning. Okay. I'm going to go again, bro. Yeah, go, go again. Just make sure you're eating right. I mean, it's a little setback, but it happens. Wow. You know, it's win. something to be aware that things like this are going to happen. Like, for example, me, I weighed myself this weekend. I was 174. And then I weighed myself, I weighed myself Saturday. And then on, on Sunday night, I was 176.8. You know, so I did go up for two pounds. It's the weekend, bro. So, no, and I wasn't, I wasn't even right. I wasn't cheating or anything. I so, right. you know, it happens. Um, depends on some food that you might eat. Sodium might help, you know, not help make you retain uh liquids or you maybe you just had a lot of water you had you're just you know holding on to something so you need to eat a little bit more greens like asparagus broccoli that help you with water retention so you're not retaining all that water so stuff like that i mean there's nothing to feel bad about um well wait as a matter of fact good. You know, I, I actually started doing a my little beer thing what? my noxidil Oh, so you want to... And it says... It, that it you're going to gain weight. That you're going to gain you're weight. You're so full of crap. That's what bro. it is. That's not what it is. That's what it is. It's a setback and it happens. I it's, know. I, it's just not to feel discouraged. So by and Thursday, just keep going. I, need, I need to be down to, to 220. I mean, 320. I mean, yeah, it's, it's fine. I mean, 
like I said, healthy weight loss is going to be one to two pounds. So right now it's fine. You know, it's not a big deal. We're gonna, and that's why we weigh ourselves every day because of that water weight and all that. Because tomorrow you might be 320, 319. If you pee enough today. Yeah, I'm going to start drinking. You know, and you you're going twice a day to the gym, right? Yeah, I went this morning. I went last night too. So, okay. yeah. As long as you're doing what you're doing and you know that you're doing what you're doing, because I'm not monitoring what you're eating only when you were here and during the weekdays. You know I'm cheap, though. I mean, not cheap, but you know I'm lazy. So, so I just ordered Chipotle. It's on just automatic same, delivery. Everything, bro. You saw it, right? It's the same thing. You know, so let's, let's see how you do tomorrow. <laughs> All right, so Thomas, he was supposed to, you know, I didn't go with him to the gym yesterday. He was supposed to record, but he didn't, but he is sore as hell, though. Bro. Look at that. Oh. Well, we're going to do the weigh-in today. Hopefully, you lost a pound, two, maybe? Hopefully, a pound. Yeah, something. It was a maybe it was just water. Like I said, water weight. You you worked out yesterday morning. Now, you know, you worked out this last afternoon. And um, you were what? Um, you did what? You did rowing. Because it's kind of like a, like a boot camp thing that you do. Um, you did rowing. Um, deadlifts. Deadlifts. Um... Lunges. Lunges are horrible, bro. Uh, what else? Um, I, I like the workout. It was a good workout. It would have been amazing for you guys to see it. Uh, but, you know, I wasn't there and he forgot to record. Because I was with Jose. Because, as you guys know, he just had a baby. So, congratulations. My niece is beautiful and I'm super excited about that. Um, so, I was at the hospital with him and, and my wife and his wife. And we're just, you know, just being there with the family, which was great. So, I mean, excuse because I, I went out to work. work out. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, um, let's check this out and see if it's accurate. Yep. Pretty accurate. I was 183 yesterday, 182.4 today. Um, Tom is taking off all, all his clothes, apparently. Let's see. You ready? Just step on it. One, uh, th 121. <laughs> 321. Nice. Dang. So you were, what was yesterday? 324, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah, so you went down three pounds. I told you it was mostly water, water weight, weight and stuff like that. So things like that happen. Um, one day you can be 130, uh, let's say, 170 the next day you'll be 172 and then go back to 169 you'll fluctuate so that's good that's why when you're trying to lose weight it's good to weigh yourself every day that that way you have you know okay I, i'm not gonna freak out it's just water weight I did freak out. exactly you did freak out so you can see with this i mean you don't lose fat just like that in one day it's usually water weight um half of it could have been you know fat but you still went down and and that's all that matters so you know like congratulations went down to Thanks. so last one was 325 322 right 322 and then you and went up to 324 and so you're down a pound from last week so that's good. supposed to be one to two pounds a week right? yeah exactly so that's healthy weight loss one to two pounds so that's that's really good so you're 321 man if you can get you to 300 and within the next month chill dog. <laughs> that would be amazing that would be amazing I'm going on vacation man in two weeks right in nine day, ten days yes because the man here is getting married yeah look at that there's a lot of things happening getting married losing weight going to to on uh, the vacation moving to new york a lot of things bro congratulations all right so come on let's go weigh in come on let's go Yesterday you lost a pound, bro. Yeah, but today is four p.m. And look at you. You look, you look slim, dressing up, looking slim. Yeah. My, my pants are falling, bro. <laughs> look at that, sagging. Yeah, no? sagging. They're yeah. sagging. Let's go, bro. Three twenty-five point two. Let me get on there again. <laughs> it's water weight, bro. There's no way. No, no, there's no way. Let me get on there again. Ready? Why? <laughs> Why do you shake your hands? 25.2 bro this is broken bro it's water weight it's fine bro uh, you're going to the gym today right yeah all right by tomorrow you're gonna lose the weight why are you recording me bro well i'm not i'm recording the top i almost went down <laughs> is it gonna be fine no nah, bro i was a 321 how the hell i went four pounds up that's that's, that's what i'm saying overnight is well, water weight but I just, so that's, did, I just drank coffee that's what i told you that's what i'm saying is water weight it's it is late in the afternoon um because i had to do some stuff in the morning but you know, always try to do it in the mornings. Yesterday we did it in the morning, so that's that's good. Because in the afternoons, you, you already had lunch, right? I already had lunch. Had lunch, had a lot of water, uh, had coffee. So, of coffee. you know, th that's where the four pounds are at, you know. So we try usually to do it in the mornings. Um, today, like I said, 
late in the afternoon. But tomorrow morning, as soon as we get back from the gym, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to do that. All right. So you guys can, you know, keep track on that. Good morning, guys. It is six in the morning right now. And um, we're in LA Fitness, as you guys can see. Um, so today we're going to show you a little bit of a workout that we're going to do. Um, so basically, I have Thomas. He came in there about around 5.50. Um, so he can start doing some cardio. So he's going to probably be in the step master right now. Um, the workout we're going to do is a simple workout. It's kind of like what we did when I was losing weight and Jose was booking up. It was a five by five, but you know, I removed some exercises just because he's really not into working out and you know, he's very overweight. So I wanted him to start slow. Um, the first few weeks, I just want him to get familiarized with the workout, um, know how to do them you know um use the right weight and don't get injured and and just get familiarized get his body used to working out that type of way so it's going to be a basic five by five and um yeah i'm going to show you every you know the and there's only like three or four workouts we're doing just to get him going um he's going to use enough weight so he can push himself to you know to 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 feel it but not so much weight where he's gonna be struggling every single time and he's gonna injure himself like i said this is you know he's worked out before you know but it's been a long long time and i want him to start as a beginner you know start a good foundation and move up from there and, and i don't want him to get injured i don't want him to get discouraged and all, nothing like that and working out is very important as part of your weight loss regimen um and lifting weights too there's actually studies showing that you lose weight more by lifting weights than just doing cardio but you know i want him to have a good cardiovascular uh resistance and then be able to run and not get tired i want him to build that so let's get inside it's raining right now so it's it's a nasty morning but let's get inside this ain't stopping us All right, so this is the final weigh-in. Today is uh, Friday. So you ready, bro? No. You can't come in, Maria, because he, get, he gets on his naked. His boxers. Come on. So. I hate the scale, bro. I'll fix that. Uh, let's see. Let's hey, I don't know why I feel like I went more. All right, so it's there. Let's is try it. Is it possible to lower it? Yeah, you can be bloated. Zeroed out. 181. Damn. 181? Yeah. Weren't you less? Yeah, but I'm with clothes and all that. So, yesterday I was 180. If I, 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 if I weigh myself without anything, I'm like... I think it's like 174, I think, last time I checked, so... Oh, man. Hey, these people are going to say, why is Thomas the same? I have the same, I have the same color boxes, bro. <laughs> Keeps going on, bro. The last one of the day, or of the week. Okay. 
You ready? 321.2. Oh my god, that's scary. <laughs> so you oh, went just down? One, just one pound. That's fine. Like, like I said, the pound that you lost was the pound of the week, basically. Yeah. So by next week, you should be 320, 319. I mean, as long as you you know, don't pick out this weekend. I guess just... the, the first time it was because it was the waterway. Yeah. But um, that's pretty good, though. That's been over... Two weeks. It's been 11 pounds, right? 12. No, 11. 11 pounds. Yeah. That's that's amazing. I think that's very, very good. In, in two weeks. In two weeks. So, yeah, just keep doing what you're doing. And, you know, he'll be continuing losing weight and, and doing what he needs to do. So What sucks is I haven't had a cheat meal, bro. You don't need a cheat meal. Sometimes you don't need them. <laughs> Don't, don't, you know, if you can avoid it, I mean, sometimes, you know, you need it to keep motivated and all that, but if you can avoid it for whatever reason, avoid it and, and, you know, don't. My birthday's on Monday, so. Oh, there, maybe have one meal for your birthday. You know, just to keep you on track. Having cheat meals are not horrible. It keeps you on track. It keeps you motivated. Um, you know, it just keeps you going sometimes. Sometimes just eating healthy all the time just gets you tired. So having one meal during the week is not going to kill you um having you know eating that cookie or eating that whatever barbecue whatever it is you know it's not going to kill you so it's, it's a good idea to have one once in a while just to keep you motivated and keep you going because if you just do it healthy and keep going you're going to get tired you're just going to be like forget this i'm not doing this and it's just going to keep you, you demotivated healthy, you lose weight. That's, the that's even that's the worst part yeah so you know that's that's good you're losing weight um, how that that cheat meal macros or counting macros, whatever it is. I hated it before. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, but it's but so much now it's like you just eat. You everything. eat everything. Just make sure. That is not a lot of. Food. All right, so I got a lot of comments and the, the whole thing that if you fit your macros, blah blah blah. The, listen, I'm not telling them to eat junk food, you know. But if no, it fits your macros, food. yeah, if it fits your mac, if you eat whole foods like uh, vegetables, uh. Uh, sweet potatoes and stuff like that real food you can eat a lot of it it's gonna fit your macros you're gonna feel full but you're not gonna gain weight because you're gonna be in a calorie deficit now what it means if it fits your macros sometimes you want to eat a cookie if it fits your macros eat it you're not gonna kill you you want to eat a bag of chips sometimes eat it but don't make your whole diet junk food because yes it's not healthy but if you have one once in a while it's not gonna kill you as long as it fits your macros i've my first week, remember when we were busy with promotions, you know? Yeah, you had a meal. And I had a huge meal that, I mean, it was rice, steak, and french fries. Yeah. And I couldn't, I mean, the place didn't have healthy stuff like that. Exactly. Because sometimes a salad is not as healthy as people, because I used to think salads were healthy. No, but they're, that, because they put a bunch of crap on it. Yeah, and especially that dressing, though, it's just yeah, fat. Full exactly. So, so, for instance, uh, my coworker here had a cookie yesterday, and I, I looked at the calories, and it was 240 calories, right? For a small little cookie. For a small little cookie. But then if you eat one taco from Chipotle, it's 160. Exactly. So you'd rather eat a taco that is actually real food is going to fill you up and has better macros um, than eat just that cookie, you know. But sometimes you want that damn cookie, so just yeah. eat it as long as it fits your, your freaking macros. All right, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time.